Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user Vinyl Bun Buns asked what's the dumbest thing you actually believed? That men can get pregnant too. Damn you Schwarzenegger! I was six and saw a man with a big beer belly shopping for diapers at a mall. It made all sense to me and I was so happy I screamed oh my god you will have a baby! Then I could smell something while underwater. When I was around 10-12 years old I was in a tropical themed water park where it also happened to be a herbal bath. It smelled very nice which I did not expect. Most of the tropical plants were fake plastic plants so I figured the water in the bath was normal swimming pool water and the smell was coming from something else. The bath was surrounded with a small aromatic herb garden which didn't look fake. I sneakily took a sample from a thyme plant that felt surprisingly real but because the air was filled with all the different aromas and a hint of chlorine, I couldn't smell anything different when I tried to smell the thyme. I figured the only place where my sense of smell couldn't be fooled by any fakery was underwater. For five seconds, I actually felt pretty smart. Until I tried it. We lived with our uncles for a while when my mother worked on the pipeline. I thought they were so selfless for sharing a bed so us kids could have the other room. I would be a teen before I learned that one of my uncles wasn't my uncle, he was just my uncle's lover. So, for all intents and purposes, your uncle then. I used to think people exclusively wore hats if they were bald because that's why my dad wore a hat. That reindeer wasn't an actual animal but specifically a mythical animal that Santa Claus used. I believed this until I was 23 or so when I saw some nature documentary talking about reindeer I was like, what? The reverse unicorn. Ah, Santa and Mrs Claus's favourite position. I thought that was going up the chimney. One of my favourite songs growing up was TLC's Don't Go Jason Waterfalls. As a kid, my sister told me we had an older brother that died. She said he died when playing bowling and his fingers didn't come out of the ball and slid all the way down the alley then he turned into a skittle. Skittle is another word for bowling pin if that makes more sense. Oh my god, that line in the seventh Harry Potter book makes so much more sense now. It was something like, the Death Eaters fell about like Skittles and I was like, JK Rowling must have been eating candy when she wrote that line. Edit. I just realised that might be the dumbest thing I've ever believed. When I was a kid I used to think professional wrestling was real and The Undertaker scared the living shit out of me during his whole Ministry of Darkness phase. I thought he actually was Satan's minister or something. Like yeah, he's an undead overlord of hell, here to bring an eternity of darkness and misery to this planet. But he also has to make a weekly television appearance to win a wrestling competition and you can buy his action figure at Toys R Us. My dog went to a farm until I was 35. More so naive and innocent rather than dumb but still funny, my dad used to tell us kids that a dwarf slash little person worked in and operated every car park barrier in the world. Every time he drove up to one he'd press the button for the ticket and say, cheers mate, how's the wife? And fake a conversation as he waited for the barrier to open, lol. That's fantastic, he sounds like a great dad. Did he do that at ATMs too? Of course, ATM stands for a tiny man. Sounds like the nickname all my ex-girlfriends had for me. That if you ask someone if they're a police officer, they have to tell you the truth. There are still people who believe this. Whoever started this urban legend is a genius. Probably started by a cop. Nope, I knew the guy who started it and I asked him if he was a cop. He wasn't. I believed I could kill people with my hands when my fish died after I took it out of the water when I was four. So I never hugged or touched anyone until at school I poked a person I hated and he didn't die. That there was an incredibly fat, slimy dinosaur called Bloppiosaurus. I even made a whole report about it in kindergarten based entirely off of the information my oh so intelligent and generous stepfather told me. I thought sugar grew in sugar caves, similar to salt caves. I believe that sugar crystals, like rock candy, just grew in caves and there were parts of the world with beautiful crystallised sugar caves. I was 25 years old when I brought it up in conversation with my fiancé. I tried to prove to him they were real and it was when I reached my fourth page on Google I realised my whole world was a lie. That dark meat and white meat come from two different birds. I was 12 when they asked me, as they did each year at Thanksgiving, which kind of meat I wanted. That year I said, dark meat please. But I feel bad I'm the only one who really eats it and you have to go get an entire second turkey just for me. I'm still teased about it to this day. At 46 years old.
that an omnipotent man being travelled to every house in the world in one night to deliver toys he had his magical slaves build for children. When I was six, I ran into an electric fence and because I survived, I was convinced I was really a robot in disguise. That the US government had checks in place to prevent blatant corruption. My dad always told me when I was really young, birds could sit on power lines because they had rubber feet. Fast forward to school when we were asked a question on how birds could sit on power lines. I answered because they had rubber feet. The whole class laughed and I will forever hold it against my dad. What is the dumbest thing you ever believed? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.